Welcome back everybody. We are going over Agrith, this mean looking spider right here. And much like the spider that we fight normally, this is a very hard encounter and we do need some select champions to get through here. And I believe that Reliquary Tinder is the MVP for this place. On her A1, she has a decreased attack, which you see up there right now. It's only 25%. It would be lovely if we could get decreased attack of 50% on the spider. But Reliquary Tinder's A2 removes all debuffs, puts up that regen on a three turn cooldown, and then her A3 can revive somebody. We've also got Doom Priest, Apothecary, and Senatial in here just to help us through the waves he did. He also does put up a regen on a two turn cooldown, and he can put up a leech. So I just played this team out just to see how long they could survive. I didn't bring in anybody to kill the spider. Coldheart is a phenomenal champion to bring in here for the spider. I just wanted to make sure that we could have sustain. Like what could we do for sustain? And I just went and made some coffee. I came back and at 18 minutes, we were still going. So we're able to stay alive, to remove the debuffs, to get up the heals, to increase our speed. Doom Priest was doing her thing right and we went over and over. I also tried to bring in here, and we're going to go over Reliquary Tender. We're going to go over a team that's like a free-to-play, low-spender team for you guys. I just want to show you that I also brought in two Sky Touch Shamans. I think it was. Did I record that? I did. So I brought in two Sky Touch Shamans to try to see if they could just keep giving everybody a whole bunch of life, right? One is level 50 with just some gear on her. No, she's not booked whatsoever. And it kind of worked for a little while, but it's good to have, like, we died right there because I think the main thing is, here's the thing about it. The Sky Touch Shaman has an AoE on the A1. And what that is causing us to do, whenever we hit these Spiderlings, we're not hitting them very hard, so we're not killing them, and they're attacking back and putting up more poisons. That's really why we died. And then when the Spider takes a turn, the Spider combusts whatever poisons we have on and does immediate damage to us. That's why we've got to get rid of those poisons or not have very many poisons on. And if we're going to attack the Spiders, you want to kill the Spiders. Just outright kill them, which everybody is doing. You can come in here and nuke the Spiders hard, normal. They don't have a lot of HP right now. And I hope that's kind of the case when we get up higher. I don't know with the encounters when we're much higher. But when we're higher up in the Doom Tower, I'm going to want to bring in two Reliquary Tenders. And I only have one right now. I'm going to take another one as soon as I get one to level 50 and just book her out. A Reliquary Tender does not need to be 60 to go through this encounter. Just load her up. That's the funny thing. Let me show you right now what my Reliquary Tender has on her. This will make you laugh. I couldn't believe it. Because I wanted to look at her before I did this recording to make sure she's not overpowered. No chest, no gloves, ring, or neck. She has 203 speed, so when I saw her on the champion selection screen, I was like, all right, I guess she's good. She's got decent HP. We'll run her through here. She's a rare. Look at that gear. So I know you can build her up, and it's not bad to have more survivability. We are taking poisons that are based off of a percentage, and we're getting regens that are based off of a percentage. So HP isn't that big of a deal, but it really is too. You want HP and defense because you're taking hits from the spider. You're taking hits from the spiderlings, which really don't hurt that much because it's a very little damage, but they're putting poisons on you. But you still want to have that. You still want to have HP and survivability. Even though everything is based off of percentages, it still doesn't matter. So you can make her better. You can make her faster. You could put her in Relentless, which would be amazing. So when I get a second one of her, I'm definitely going to do it. So when I face Agrith, the Nether Spider, again, up higher in the Doom Tower, which I hope way higher, a floor 100, whatever it is, I can bring those two in there, and I think those two can take care of it. Because with that A1, let's bring her out of the vault. With that A1 doing that decreased attack, right that'll help us that'll save us with this one giving us the regen three turn cooldown removing everything and then we have this revive plus we'll have style the drakes with us let's go over a team that i think is a low spender friendly team or free i don't know about free to play we're going to put in cold heart but i'm not going to bring cold heart because she will kill the spider too quickly so i'm thinking style the drakes doom priest if you don't have doom priest go with apothecary either one of those two doom priest or apothecary then we've got Cold Heart, Reliquary Tender. I was using a Cult Brawler as a full DPS of Cult Brawler. That way, every three turns, he would remove all the debuffs. And as long as he had five, we're going to take an additional turn. We're going to automatically crit. We're going to ignore defense, some of the defense. It was pretty fun. But we really can't tell right now because it's too easy to damage the spider. I'm going to have to wait till I get up to Agrith much higher. Once we're higher up there, I'm going to bring out some champions that work well. So we've got War Maiden, Apothecary, Reliquary Tender, Cold Heart, and Sile of the Drakes which we can get from. And I was also looking at Hate Flower because Hate Flower can put a slow speed on this, but Hate Flower's A1 is random two hits, just like Apothecary is random. And Apothecary kind of, kind of gives us a little problem here as well, being that random. Because that random hit, again, hits those little spiderlings if we're not nuking them. And in this team, we're really not nuking them down. And then they attack us back and put up more poisons. But if you're going to come in here and nuke down all the spiderlings, then you don't have to worry about it so much. So either one of these, let's put in her and see what happens. We've got two people that heal every single turn with Sile and Doom Priest. 
We've got Reliquary Tender removing and giving us those regens. We do get a speed buff. We've got two revivers with these two here. And then we've got Cold Heart, which is going to nuke it down. Let's do a run really quickly. And then we'll take out Cold Heart and see what kind of sustain we have with this team. But if you are a low spender, free to play account, I hope you do have a Cold Heart built up because she looks really good for a, for a lot of these bosses, honestly. I hope you have a style of Drakes. You better because she's going to help you get through everything in this game as long as you've been playing long enough and are able to get her. And then Reliquary Tender, you might have pulled her, but she's really good for this. Because we want that A1 decrease attack. We want to remove. See, she's too powerful right now. Cold Heart is too strong for this boss right now. So we'll bring Cold Heart out so you can see how everything's going. When she comes in, this is unavoidable. We can't block it with block debuffs. We can't resist it. We can't have high resistance. Because at this stage, the spider has like 30 resistance and zero accuracy. Which is still pretty good. It's good to have a little bit resistance against the spider. But when the spider drops in the spiderlings... It's always going to hit us with this, with these poisons, and then they will always follow up in a, with an attack. Now, if we attack them right now with their counterattack, it's an AoE A1 that puts up poison. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it puts up another stack of poisons on us, which we can kind of get capped out, but we need to remove them. Because when the spider takes a turn, she can bust all the poisons and does damage for every poison we have on us. Removes them all, does damage to us, and it can kill us. So we want to make sure we remove these. Though we can't, it's irresistible right here on the bottom part. When attacked, when attacking it, the very bottom one. When attacking an enemy that has no poisons debuff, place one on there. This debuff cannot be resisted or blocked. So even if you have block debuffs up, it won't matter. It still gets put on. I, I tried it out when I had my two Sky Touch Shamans up. It, it does. It reads properly. But here, when attacked by an enemy under poison, increase the duration of all debuffs by that and then place a poison sensitivity. You can resist that. You can resist that move. And the Spiderlings, I think, are irresistible as well. Right here, the enemies, Spiderlings, I believe that they're irresistible because i see i feel like i'm getting hit with them all the time but i don't know their stats i only know the main spider stats i don't know the spiderling stats but again a lot of people are just nuking them down because they don't have a lot of hp on normal and on hard not a lot of hp there but that might change as we go up in the tower i don't think it's going to be a crazy amount as we go up but they are going to be at least a little bit harder to take out maybe a couple hits once we get up there so it's good to either take them out or do a lot of single damage let's see what sile does on aoe and the little bit of turn reduction she has and slow speed she has is really good on the spider as well for Sile the Drakes. Because even if she gets hit back with that turn reduction, I just used a key. Oh, well. Anyways, let's go back through it without Cold Heart so we can see it play out. <laughs> so we can see it play out not so fast and see if we have that sustain there. We could actually we could bring out War Maiden too. And War Maiden doesn't have a lot of gear. This is on normal. This is not on hard. I'm just doing through normal because a lot of people are going to get stuck on hard. Then they're going to be forced to go back, back over to normal. And I'm going through normal to try to do free to play, low spenders, bring in uncommons, bring in rares. What champions work the best that most of us will have out there that we can get through this content? So here, let's see if we have the sustain. We got that up. We're getting the heals from Sile, 10% of everybody's max HP. She's doing 7.5 and removing one of the debuffs really strong and then we have reliquary tender doing hers every three turn as well so they've kind of fallen off there having having speed helps right having the speed especially from apothecary because even if we're getting hit by those poisons again we want the poisons gone by the time this spider takes a turn by the time she takes a turn so she doesn't combust those these regens are a lifesaver the removal is a lifesaver not hitting these spiderlings right now is very good to do unless you're gonna kill them. So we're not having any AOE, and I don't even think War Maiden's doing her AOE. We have to force do it. A lot of people have been saying that this spider is not a very good one to do on auto. It's more of a manual boss, and that might be the case. But look, you only have to do it one time, and then you can move forward. And if you do decide to fight it multiple times with your keys, then you'll just have to go through here, manualist, to get the artifact pieces. So that's not that bad. I mean, we're making it through here okay. This, the sustain looked good. I think this is a very good free to play low spender an account and again if you don't have doom priest just bring an apothecary he's going to work just as well we know she doesn't have gear on her we know that already i think this whole entire team will nuke this down very quickly but let me know do you know of any good teams out there what have you been using to face agrith the nether spider are there any good teams that you've seen out there i know we could do unkillable because you can have duplicate champions either hard or normal you can have duplicate champions in there we could come in here with two towers we could two managers we could play our unkillable team i wonder how that would play out actually our unkillable team for the clan boss we're gonna try our unkillable team and see if that works for us here it should work but i think the draco is gonna kill everything too quickly we want to save all our abilities for when we get there so i'm not gonna I'm not going to waste the skills. I want to have everything set up so that we can kill when we get to the boss. 
so we can do our rotation properly when we get to the boss. But I really feel like Draco is just going to kill this boss way too easily. This will be fun to try out though when we get to the harder, to the harder version of this, in the Doom Tower, because I really feel like this is going to work, depending on what the speed of that spider is. But regardless, why wouldn't this work? We can have duplicate champions in both, so I'm I'm sure this is going to work out for us. Okay, here we're going to start off with our unkillable. Now we're going to speed up. Hit. We're going to take that turn meter, right? But we can take turn meter, so that might mess us up. Look, we got took that damage for taking the turn meter. We're going to reset our skills. Draco's going to do his thing. Okay, don't, don't proc. There we go. And then here we would just hit auto. That's it. Okay, we got our unkillable up again. I mean, this spider's going to die. This spider's going to die too quickly, but I'm pretty sure this is going to work when we get higher up in the... Right? Don't you think this team would work somehow? I don't know. We, t we killed it too quickly, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think this team would work. We're going to have to... You know, we can do it with the calculator, right? We can do it in the calculator, put the speeds of this boss in there, and then see what could happen. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please let me know your teams down below. If you're using two towers, if you're using a tower and a Sir Nick to cheese through there and it's working very easily, or if you're coming with a Reliquary Tinder or something like that, Doom Priest that makes some sense for everybody out there who might not have those two two towers and Sir Nicks and whatever man eaters that we're using, let us know those comps below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.